So now, uh, so this is an example for a G how to use a GDNT advisor. The first step, the advisor is present under applications. Go into GDNT advisor, and this pops up the information that I need to use for GDNT creation here. So it's kind of easy and also kind of tricky, I would say. So first step for here, I, for example, I need a data A on this surface. So the first step would be selecting the tolerance feature, which, which feature you want to do it. So I need to click that. This pops up a small selection dialog for the surface. I selected the surface here, and that added to my references. I'm going to accept that. So once that's done, GDNT Advisor will give you give me the suggestions like what are the possible types that can be placed on that surface. So from the drop down, you can see how the flatness and the profile is highlighted in green, which means these are the only two types I can create on that flat on that flat surface. So here I'm gonna pick the flatness. I'm gonna enter a tolerance value, and you can also see if this is an option. You can whether add a datum feature or no. By just unchecking it, I don't want a datum label there. But that makes sense because I definitely need a datum feature on that feature. So, And also, if you don't uh, do any of these selection completely, you, can, you won't see the green check mark here to accept that. It will be yellow. So you can see that when, when I remove that, OK? So this changed back to yellow, which means that it does definitely need a tolerance. So now I, it doesn't mean like it's not accepting it, but it's just giving you uh, information that that's not and it's not completely good. So I'm gonna put it back there, and this changed green. So I'm gonna click OK. I'm sorry, this is turned off. Don't panic, and it's you got to <laughs> turn that on back so it's there. So now I completed my datum. So next I'll show you a quick for example for dimension so now here I'm going to select this hole for my datum B so I'm going to select tolerance feature and select this accept so once that's there it just gives me an option whether you want to use that for a basic size or a tolerance size so I definitely you want to use it for tolerance size but the one we, uh, thing to note here is it just wanted me to select the dimension first so and you can also see the value next to my dimension is unknown. This is because this is not an original Creo model. It's a step file brought in into Creo. But if you have a Creo a core Creo model, it just will take those dimension information from the Creo part itself. Like, for example, the extrude value for that feature will be selected automatically as a dimension. But there's no issues with this. You can just go ahead and create a dimensions right away on that feature which is I can do it from here, click surface, pick that, and this will create a dimension. I want to make the orientation to be a diameter, so that's four. And I can now go back to GDNT Advisor, again select the same feature, and accept. And this time you can see how the diameter picked up automatically to be four. So this was missing because it was not an original Creo model. But if you have an original Creo model, it would have taken the dimension from the dri driving dimensions mm -hmm. list. So once that's there, you can go ahead and set, again, these are the two possible types, and that's why it's highlighted in green. So I'm going to give a perpendicularity, and again, a 0 0.5 maybe, and the material condition, I'm going to set RFS. So now you can see it's all good, but it's still for dimension I want a uh, tolerance so I'm gonna cl click on that value which pops up a small dialog for me to edit the dimension I'm gonna switch this to symmetric and give a value which is 0 0.8 maybe All right, okay and accept that so again it just again populated my da datum B also so I'm gonna leave, leave that checkbox on I'm gonna click OK so you can see how these should need to get created Okay, so there's another example for bad uh, view. Again, I don't know whether I showed before. I'm going to just quickly change the view by clicking on that right click and say current orientation, where you can change the text to be 180. No, that didn't work. So I'm going to 90. Well. Oh, that's bad. All right, 
that's there let me just pull it out all right so that's done so once you complete your creation you can just click OK but one thing to notice is even though you use GDNT advisor to create the GDNT but by just if you want to edit them the only way you can just use it you go back to the normal annotation dialog to edit so if I click that you can see how the annotation dialog popped up which we've been using for annotations mm -hmm. so that's how you edit the GDNT so GDNT advisor is basically it just gives you advices on how those what are the possible type of GDNT that can be created but for editing purpose you can still use the geometric tolerance tab which pops up for your usual annotation editing so that's the